Today we're at the Royal Treatment Veterinary Spa where Dr. Royal is going to tell us all about holistic veterinary medicine. We'll test out everything from acupuncture to an aqua therapy treadmill. Sure hope Guinness is up for it. So don't go anywhere. It's all coming up in this episode of The Urban Month. Alright pup. Hello. Guinness is checking in. Hi. You want to come on in? We'll be right with you. Sure thing. Alright so here we are in the waiting room of the Royal Treatment Veterinary Spa. Now, Dr. Royal practices something called holistic veterinary medicine, which encompasses things like acupuncture, massage, laser, a water treadmill, and nutrition, which is extremely important. It's like her biggest thing. So we're going to learn a lot from her. I'm very excited. And we may even do some doggy yoga or doga. Pretty cool. Let's go. Well, here we are in Dr. Royal's main office. but. You gotta keep in mind, she's a busy veterinarian, so there's actually a couple of patients lined up ahead of us, including this cat receiving laser treatment and this dog receiving acupuncture. But don't worry, Guinness doesn't seem to mind as long as he gets his belly rub. Okay, come on, Guinness. Come on, that's us. Turn. Let's go, pup. Come on. Come this on, way. Google. He's like, no. Yes, you wanna come in. It's good. All good. How you doing there? Guinness, okay, come here, Guinness. pup. Come here, little buddy. How are you doing? Hello, so first and foremost, I want to know, is he a sausage? He's a sausage. No! Oh, son of a gun! Sorry. You need some extra running, dude. For what I do here all day long, one of the most important things we do is get dogs to lose weight. Okay. So unfortunately, we don't have a bikini waist, and we need a little bit of a waist going on here. It's all straight shot back to the bum. No doggy thong for you, man. No, that's not going to happen. So one thing we can do to make you feel better longer is to get you to lose some weight. Seeing my obvious concern at having a sausage dog, Dr. Royal went on to explain the importance of not only the quantity of food a dog eats, but also the types of foods a dog eats. My rules about food in general okay. are no corn, okay. no wheat, okay. try to avoid um, soy and white potato, uh, okay. um, and then absolutely, particularly if dogs have any kind of inflammation anywhere, no peanut butter. Gotcha. So those are the things for dogs. It's a carnivore. They need to eat a carnivore diet. Right. No so, peanut butter. I'm I surprised. Know. I can almost, yeah. I can almost yeah. hear the gasps from the audience right now. Coming, a lot coming. of people like to give really? peanut butter. And they say, oh, my dog loves peanut butter. Can't do without it. I'm like, right. well, you know what you can do instead? A lot of other things that dogs will like more. If you put peanut butter right next to maybe some cream cheese right. or peanut butter next to some all meat baby food. Huge. Like you can be having some problems and just changing the nutritional diet yes. can make an impact that, that you know you might solve all your, all your problems. There's nothing else I can say. Like here's 75% of your problem. Fix the food. Gotcha. And then we go on from there. There's other things you can do to fine tune. And if you need to then maybe go to something like an herbal remedy, a supplement, right. um, the nutraceuticals that are out there, or medication. I'm, I'm a regular classical veterinarian. I'm trained in regular medis medicine. I have a DEA license. And right. I use those drugs. Right. I don't mind using them. But right. boy, it's more fun if you can do it some other way. Now, do you do also massage, dog massage. Mm -hmm. We do um, acupuncture, dog massage, chiropractic. Um, we have laser therapy. Right. We have um, electroacupuncture. We have um, ultrasound, therapeutic ultrasound. Um, oh gosh, everything else. I can't even think now. <laughs> we do a lot of stuff. He doesn't even care. No, he's like, is, this is fine. Is there, is there anything that you can show on this apparently completely willing subject? Yes, really. As far as like massage goes or anything like that? Yeah, can absolutely. Show? So you want to come up, Guinness? Good luck. He's, he's like, like the sleeping asleep, dead right man. now. He's had like, a long day. If you stand up, it's easier to show. Guinness. But, or he's like, no, you can rub my belly instead. I know. He's like, I know one token massage. That's, that's the Chad <laughs> massage right there. Well, we can do it this way. I don't know, you want to come here, come here. Ooh, he's kind of like, uh, like, you ever I'm see just, Gumby? Yeah. This is kind of like, you know, Gumby's sort of, dog right here. Just like, whatever. Yes. Hi, Booba. Okay, so this, this one helps circulation down the spine. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times I'll get animals that have weak rear ends and things aren't circulating all the way to the bum. Right. So I want to get circulation to go from front to back or they're having problems with inflammatory issues and I want the lymphatic drainage to improve. Gotcha. Show the owners this. Two circles, one, two. Go all the way from the base of the skull down. One, two, one, two, one, two. Two little circles on either side of the spine. Talk about the royal treatment. Aside from helping Guinness to relax, as if he needed help, massages like this one stretch muscles and are especially useful for animals affected by injury or disease. 
Foot massages like this can be helpful if your pet is knuckling or having problems with walking by reconnecting the nerve pathways between the brain and the feet. So those little nerve highways that are in there, instead mm -hmm. of getting blocked off, now they're like, oh, we're getting used again. Yeah, Woohoo! Exactly. And it's pretty much, I always describe it as like a railroad truck. It gets overgrown because they're just not using it that much. Right. And you can't run a train on it. So we, get, we squeeze it, it gets shined up, you get the connection again. Well, what do you think about that, buddy? He's like, I don't know, just do some more. I know, look at him, look at him, look, he's like, yeah, now he's naturally, you know, yeah. he normally lays around like this, but I think there's an extra, let me, yeah. let me just test something real quick here. Yeah, yeah he's yes. pretty, pretty yes. limp. He's about as, uh -huh. as relaxed as he's gonna get. Coming up, can I face my fear of needles for the acupuncture test? All right, you okay. really want me to do this and yes. try it on you? And then we'll do some doggy yoga and maybe even make up some new moves. So don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. So, what I'm looking at here is something out of my worst dreams, because <laughs> I hate needles, and I see a lot of needles right there. Yeah, we got a lot of needles. We do a lot with needles here. Okay. Yeah. We're going, Guinness, let's go! <laughs> no, so this is for the, your acupuncture. Yeah, I do a lot of acupuncture. Um, there are a lot of things I can use acupuncture for. Really? I use it for musculoskeletal problems, um, which are the most obvious. Everyone says, oh yeah, arthritis, acupuncture. Right. Uh, I also do it for chronic diseases, immune system diseases, um, organ failure, kidney failure, um, liver failure. Yeah, a lot of things. Really? Epilepsy, seizures. And all um, that, you've, you've seen the impact the of, yes. from acupuncture. Yes. Absolutely. Wow, I've been doing it for really cool. 13 years and I probably wouldn't be doing this so much if it didn't work so well because I intended always to be a regular vet. I guess well luckily for us, she decided to pursue alternative medicine. In addition to the domestic animals that she sees in her office, Dr. Royal visits a local zoo where she performs acupuncture on animals such as camels and elephants. Hence the harpoon sized needle she's holding in her hands. I'm, I'm scared scared of needle. I mm -hmm. hate needles. Excellent. But somebody's gonna ask, I know, does this hurt the dog? So <laughs> I'm willing to sacrifice my arm. To know if it works and doesn't hurt. Give me a second. <laughs> to see whether or not it really hurts or not. <laughs> so I'm gonna <laughs> Do I need to help you a little bit first? No, I'm not gonna faint. Just catch me if I fall. All right, you okay. really want me to do this and yes. try it on you? Yes. Okay. I'm willing, so I'm willing to do this. Just so your audience knows. Anybody can stick needles into anybody else. Right. As long as I don't charge you for it and say I'm a human acupuncturist, yes. I'm not in trouble legally. Excellent. So you could stick everybody else here if you want to, but it's the <laughs> point. So the point is, the point, sorry. <laughs> I'll be here all night. Um, the point is, uh, this can help. I do right. definitely treat my family and I treat myself for my own migraines and things like that. Really? Yeah, works like a charm. Um, but I'll use a tiny one on you because you're a scaredy cat. I'm not a scaredy cat. Okay, you I'm are. a little bit of a scaredy Sorry. cat. Okay. Oh. Um, okay. So yeah. this is a this is an anti-inflammatory point, okay. and also called longevity point. So maybe we'll do this one rather than your hand. Okay, good. Okay. So maybe I'll live longer after I get stuck. You might. This could be it. This could be the thing oh. that helps you. Ancient Chinese secret. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. here we go. Ready? No. I'm not ready. Just don't even I'm look. Not ready. I'm here. not looking. I hate needles. Did you feel that? That was really it. That get was out of here. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I thought you were just like messing with me. No, it's in. That's, That's why the dogs come back. You, I, I swear I didn't feel a thing. I know. I have dogs that just sit there. They don't even look like they're noticing I'm doing it. It's That's great. crazy. Yeah. And I can see it's in me. It's totally in me. It's in me. I can see it. It's buried. You look. Kidding. You see that? It's buried in me. And trust me, I'm like hypersensitive to needles and I hate them. But I didn't feel this one. And you would know because there'd be a tear rolling down my face right now. I guarantee it. <laughs> So wow, that's really cool. Yep. And then you just boink, take and it just out. twist and pull. Woo -hoo! Now like, you have longevity. Good. I'm gonna live forever, Guinness. Ha ha! <laughs> so that's really cool. I, I I mean that's that's something you don't. At least I hadn't heard a lot of before I came here. Yeah. Was dog acupuncture. Yeah. But after talking to them and talking to you, it sounds like, you know, why not? Why not? If if right. you know if medicine's not going all the way or whatever, you know right. why not? It's why a lovely not thing to try. to try, and it's non-invasive and it doesn't have any side effects. Right. I do it, and I do it all day long. Pretty cool, pup. Yeah. Pretty cool. I survived.